to bring you a live picture from Savannah, Georgia tonight. Still looking relatively calm. There are residents there already, though, bracing for the effects of Hurricane Ian. And joining us now is the mayor of Savannah, Van Johnson. Thank you so much for your time tonight, Mayor, as you're preparing for a, a potentially very dangerous storm. Thank you so much for the opportunity. What is on top of mind for you this evening? What is the biggest vulnerability in Savannah? Well, our biggest vulnerability is always storm surge. Uh, right now, uh, Ian is about 190 miles south southeast of us. Um, we're expecting it to kind of go past us, which is a little different than the forecast. Um, we know at around 1130, we'll have a 10.8 uh, foot um, of high tide, and that causes flooding for us. And so winds and all of that is, is a really a big concern of ours. And Mayor, we were seeing preemptively into our newsroom some video of um, trees already coming down preemptively and protectively, uh, just cu cutting down some of the trees that are most at risk. I think we're looking at the video right now uh, to potentially blow over in, in those winds. Is that one of the uh, major uh, tactics that you're using ahead of, of the storm surge and ahead of the wind that you're expecting? Absolutely. We have an amazing team of dedicated professionals. Uh, this is what we do. We prepare for this. And so we have over 80,000 trees in Savannah, which makes it such a beautiful place. But we have to make sure we take care of them proactively, as you said, to make sure that they don't become projectiles, make sure they don't become blight um, or other things that might hinder the safety of our residents. Absolutely. It can be so dangerous when they do fall. Um, we know the last time there was a direct hit was back in 1979 with Hurricane Dave. David. There was a glancing blow in 2016 as well, and that caused a great deal of damage, right? So it doesn't need to be a direct hit in order to really impact the city and impact residents. Not at all. And, and Savannah is so phenomenally blessed. I mean, last night this time, we were looking at really a direct hit, and our hearts would definitely go out uh, to our friends down in Florida who have experienced untold devastation. Uh, but for us, uh, we are a blessed city. Um, it has grazed us this time. Um, we'll deal with what we have to deal with, and we'll pray for our friends in Charleston. Yeah, absolutely. And the residents of Savannah, no doubt, have been watching the devastation in Florida. Do you think seeing all of this coverage and seeing people not heed warnings to evacuate or not properly prepare, has it caused residents to take uh, what's to come a little bit more seriously? Absolutely. I mean, it was 2016, 2017, we had to evacuate. Uh, we had COVID. We did not have to evacuate at all. But I think hopefully this will be a lesson learned uh, for many of our residents, particularly in our lower lying areas, um, that when the emergency, emergency management professionals say move, you need to go ahead and move. It's not for convenience, it's for safety. And again, um, we, we see the devastation. Um, you can replace things, but you cannot replace life. Absolutely. Mayor Johnson, certainly appreciate your time. Uh, wishing you and your residents all of the safety. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.